TSA friendly, travel, drive, backpack system. The whole point of this system is to take it as carry-on on the plane. We're going to be check baggage fees. We're going to keep possession of our dive gear at all time so that we can protect our dive investment, our dive gear, and our dive bag. Okay? So what we're going to do is, I personally, this is my gear in here. Um, I've got three days worth of clothes and a full warm water set of gear. Should you go through TSA, go through the x-ray, and they see maybe the liquid in your compass or a spring in your regulator and they decide to check you. Most of the time that's not going to happen because the gear is in context. They're going to see the fins and the snorkel and the mask and they're not going to stop because they recognize it as dive gear. So, in the off chance you get stopped, what we're going to do is we are going to release three double day rings on the side here. What that's going to do is it's going to release what we call our spider pack. And our spider pack is where we typically, depending upon how you pack, we can get two to three days worth of clothes in here if it's warm weather. If I'm going with the guys, what I'll do is I'll put a pair of jeans, two or three pair of shorts, socks, underwear, I'll put my bathroom stuff up at the top. Now if I'm traveling with my wife, we'll put just our overnight clothes in here for both of us, her bathroom essentials in the top, and I will carry this, and she will carry just our international configuration, which is just this core system, and we'll check one bag together. So, three more buckles, and this whole bag just comes off. So back to our TSA inspection. Uh, we've got our spider bag over here. We're going to pop two buckles on the top here and release our turtle pack. Then we're going to release a trim strap on the top. There's another one just like it here on the bottom. That just holds the corners together for when it's on your back. Three main compression straps. These are key to the whole system. These are the macro compression that really suck it down. That's going to be key here in a minute when I show you the inside. We're going to roll it out. Now this is why it's a TSA friendly bag. Usually all they wanted to see is probably the metal in your first stage or the liquid in your compass or they want you to turn your computer on so that they can tell that it's actually a uh, piece of electronics. Okay, what's in the bag? Let me show you. Over here in our soft compartment, we we'll keep our soft goods, we have a 3 mil double X tall pinnacle breaker wetsuit. It's a full wetsuit. We've got a Liker dive skin. I've got some uh, pinnacle merino carbon flex gloves in here and we've got some boots and a snorkel. So we'll go ahead. I just have these thrown in here for the purpose of demonstration. When you pack it at home, you can tuck things in very tightly and neatly, and it'll lay down quite a bit nicer than this. Now, these compression straps on the inside key are key and work with the compression straps on the outside. This is the incremental compression on the inside of the bag, and we team that with the macro compression on the outside. So go ahead and suck these back down, and what it does is it helps manage the bulk. Okay, okay we'll move over here to the BCD area. What we have in the BCD today, or the BCD area today, is a Zegel Ranger XL BCD. It's a cold water 44 pound lift BCD with a double X cummerbund. I've got an Air 2 alternate air source on here as well. This BCD area will accommodate up to a 14 inch wide backpack if need be. So we'll go ahead, run this guy back in here, get our compression straps going. Start wrapping her back up. Now, if you have a different style BCD that has uh, in integrated weight pockets, what you're going to want to do is before you compress the bottom, pop those little guys out of there. We have some extra space up here in the shoulders. Go ahead and just put them in here, and it'll help even out the bulk. That's what a big part of loading the dive caddy is all about: is distributing bulk. So we're almost ready to move on here. We'll just give everything a nice little compress here. So it's good to go when we roll it up. Get our hold down strap here, which keeps everything nice and tidy. Now we're gonna move over to our fin caddy area. What we have in the bag today is a set of 28 inch atomic split fins, not a small fin. We have them secured with life support inside our fin caddy. Everybody loves the fin caddy because of how quickly it deploys your little stuff. When you're out on the dive boat, you take all your little stuff, put it in the mesh bag. Okay, it's great because it also comes with a shoulder strap that you can carry cross draw and keep your hands free going back and forth in the boat. At the end of the dive, leave your little stuff in here, use the handle, go to the freshwater dunk tank, and you dump the whole thing all at once. It keeps your gear together and safe. We'll go ahead and put the fin caddy back in. Start dialing this guy back up. 
Now there's a couple different ways to put your life support in the system. I'll go over that here in just a second. Now, at this time when I start loading this back up, I want you guys to kind of look at the rest of the bag. And I want you to realize that this does not have, the system does not have the extra padding. It doesn't have rigid stays. It's not a suitcase. It's not a double bag. It's not even really a backpack, although you wear it like a backpack. This thing, you have to think about it in terms of it being a gear wrapper. Okay, it's going to be the outside dimensions of the dive caddy are directly proportional to what you put inside it. A person of smaller stature is going to have smaller gear, so the whole bag is going to be smaller on their back. So, back to the life support. If you have a more durable cold water setup, go ahead and nest it right in here next to the, the fins and the, the valley here in the bag. If you have a more delicate warm water setup with maybe a transmitter on it or something like that that you don't want to compress the system, go ahead and put it right behind your head here in the turtle pack, which rides right behind your head as you've got it on. So, if you choose to leave it in here, notice where the life support goes as we tuck and roll this. We're going to tuck it in the valley and roll it. We just put it between those atomic split fins and that Zegel Ranger. We're going to roll it again, and now we have a third layer of protection in the back with the wetsuits. Now, because this is a gear wrapper and we use the gear in the bag as the structure for the bag, the wetsuit also doubles as the padding for the backpack. Okay, so ironically, for a bag that has absolutely no padding in it, it's one of the most comfortable, most padded bags that you can put on your back.